Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm out, I'm out here in the Central Coast. I'm doing some backpacking, some hiking, and I just wanted to kind of show you the new shoes that I'm wearing. Um, you may have seen these before, some other reviewers, some other through hikers. These are the Ultra Lone Peak 3.5s. Just got to sit down, just going to show you these. These are the lows. Now, I've been wearing these for a few days now and I really, really like them uh, for a couple reasons. Number one, they're super lightweight. Uh, number two, they breathe really, really well. Um, number three, they're not waterproof. So when you have a waterproof shoe or boot and that boot or shoe gets wet, um, it takes a while for it to, to dry. Not necessarily the outside, but if it ever gets wet inside. You know, if you cross in a stream and you fall in or if you step in a big puddle and that water gets in the boot, it's going to take a long time to dry and that kind of sucks. So if it gets wet, it's not that big a deal because you're only going to be slogging along for a little while before your body heat and the sun dries off the shoe uh, and the sock so eventually you're gonna be nice and dry on the inside again so uh, these have a lot of cool features I'll get a little closer to the camera just so you can see them these shoes are very comfortable very um, cushiony you know it's like walking on marshmallows kind of because they're so cushiony uh, really really comfortable and a lot of people have talked about how wide the toe box is I have wide feet and well, uh, sometimes I'll get shoes, most of the shoes that I get, my left pinky toe will rub. But it's always the left. It's never the right, which is kind of weird. But with these, they have such a wide toe box. And I, some people have experienced that these weren't as, uh, aren't as wide as the 3.0 Ultra Bone Peaks. I haven't worn those, so I can't make the comparison. But just for me, having wide feet, I like having my toes to be able to splay out inside my shoe. And these do. My pinky toe does not rub, most importantly. Uh, these are a ten and a half, which is kind of weird because my brother-in-law has the mids. He has the taller ones, the same kind. But I tried on his, and his fit perfectly fine. He wore those on the John Muir Trail. These, when I got, I ordered mine as a ten, the same size as his, and they were just a little too small. Like my toes were bashing up in the inside here, and I didn't like that. So I didn't really understand why. So I ordered, I sent those back. And I ordered the ten and a halfs, and they fit me perfectly. So just keep that in mind. The tens, or you know, if you order true to size, they may not fit perfectly. I would recommend going a half size larger, uh, just for just in case you want to add like a thicker sock or something like that. Another thing too is when I contacted Ultra, they were excellent in their customer service. Like they addressed my concern right away. They sent me an RMA uh, label to ship the old ones back. Uh, and then they sent me the new ones before I, they even got the old ones back. So they were just on it, you know, with customer service, getting, sh making sure that the customer got handled. And I can't say enough for that, you know. Customer service is key. And when you make customers happy, they're going to spend more money. So good job, Ultra. All right. So as I said, here it is right here. This is the 3.5 foot shape. So that's key. These are your drainage holes right here, right here, as well as over here on the instep, on the arch. They don't have any drainage holes over on this side, but on this side, they also have what they call the gator trap, which is this little loop right here. There's also a little ring up top here on top of the foot box, on top of the toe box, rather, that's going to be for the ultra gators or other gators. And they also have a gator trap, which is this Velcro deal back here. So that's where you would attach your gator. Now, Ultra makes specific gaiters for these uh, for these shoes, but you could use other gaiters, like Dirty Girl gaiters or what have you. And you could just tell the tread on the bottom here. These are just, these are just super grippy and really, really nice. I mean, look how deep those lugs are. You can see all the, uh, the cushioning here on the bottom. Zero drop, meaning that this goes straight down. It doesn't flare out towards the heel, which I really, really like. And they fit well. Not to mention all this breathability here and this fabric up top here, um, this extra stitching really increases the structural stability of the toe box as well. And these sti this stitching goes all the way across to here. The tongue and the inside are very comfortable. They don't go up very high, which I like as well. And they don't go very up high the, uh, on the Achilles either. Great job there. I really like that. It also has, it also has the, um, like a bash guard in the front here. And extra stuff in the back for protection. As well as, you know, you have your heel loop. So that really helps putting these on and, you know, taking them on and off really easily. And I just love how lightweight they are. I mean, these things are like wearing sneakers on the trail. So ridiculously comfortable. And I want to get the insole out just so I can show you what the insole looks like. 
you can tell the insole has all these little holes on them. And what that's going to do is really going to help dry out the shoe if it gets wet. Ultra branded. And if you hold it up to the sun, you can kind of see where you can actually almost see through this. I'd have to move it towards the sun to see it. But you can actually, if you hold this up to the sun, you can see all the little holes. So that really increases the breathability, not to mention how quickly it's going to dry. Another thing too is on the bottom, it's this really sticky kind of material. So that's going to help uh, keep the insole in place, which is important. So these are the, so this is the Lone Peak 3.5, zero drop, low tops. Now they come in a few different colors as well. Um, I'm going to be doing some more hiking with these, and these are probably going to be my go-to hiking shoe of choice. Uh, just after wearing them for a few days, my feet are super comfortable with these and uh, I really, really enjoy them. Not to mention the flexibility. They're really, really flexible, and I love the, the lug, the foot pattern here. That's really cool. But just the lugs, especially the lugs on the side here, how they're all mix-matched, they're really going to help grip onto stuff and really help you on the trail. Not to mention they're really going to help shed mud if you're in any kind of wet environments. All in all, Lone Peak 3.5s. Kudos from me at Trail of Mountain. Really, really like these shoes. I'm going to do a follow-up review after these, after wearing them for quite a while, and see how they do. But so far, so good. All right, guys, so that's my review of the Lone Peak 3.5s from Ultra. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. I love these shoes. Ultra did a great job. They're super comfortable, and I'm really happy to uh, review these and kind of show you what they're all about. If you're questioning whether or not you should get Ultras, don't. They're, they're excellent shoes. And as I said, I'm going to do a follow-up review and check and see how they hold up uh, after a few months on the trail. So uh, all in all, so far so good. 3.5s rock. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave those down in my comments section. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So thanks again for tuning into my latest video. I really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, gear talk, tech and camera reviews, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.